In this week's video, we're going to be talking about Cisco's new certification roadmap. They released this publicly last month, something they don't typically do, and we're going to dissect it here in this video to see when we can anticipate new exams for various certifications. Hi, my name is Kevin Wallace, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly content. And also, if you find this helpful, please give me a like down below. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. Now let's take a look specifically at what we're going to be discussing in this video. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the roadmap, and I'll give you a link so you can go check it out for yourself. But we'll take a look quarter by quarter about the certification updates that are coming from Cisco. And Cisco has changed the rate at which they update their exams. It typically was about three to four years. Well, they have a new refresh rate that we'll be checking out in this video. And a question we might have is, if I'm preparing for, let's say, the CCNA exam, should I take the current exam and cram and get ready for that? Or should I wait for the new version of the exam to come out? I'll give you my opinion in this video, and if CCNA specifically is one of your goals for 2023, great news, I'm doing a CCNA Masterclass Live, where we cover all the content you need to know to crush your CCNA exam. We're doing that in February, and if you sign up now, there's a way for you to attend that course for free. More on that coming up later in the video. But let's get right down to business and take a look at Cisco's new certification roadmap for 2023. This is something that Cisco doesn't typically do. They typically just make an announcement publicly when there's going to be a certification exam update. But we don't know that announcement is coming ahead of time. But here they're making it very plain and declaring publicly, here is when we're going to be updating the exams. Here's when we're going to be releasing the blueprint for an upcoming new exam. And if you want to check out this roadmap for yourself, here's the link. And you'll see that the different certification tracks are color-coded. If they're in orange, that means during that quarter, Cisco is reviewing the exam. If it's in blue, that's when Cisco is going to announce a change in the blueprint for that exam. And if the certification track is in green, that means we're looking at the quarter in which Cisco is going to publish that brand new exam. Now, I'm recording this video in mid-December 2022, a little bit before Christmas, and this is being published in early January 2023. So what I see out on Cisco's certification webpage, and here's the link for that, might be different than what you see right now. Let's take a look at what Cisco says is going to be happening during the different quarters. And these quarters are based on Cisco's fiscal year. And Cisco's fiscal year begins in August. So the 2023 first quarter or Q1 for Cisco is August through October 2022. Well, that's in the rear view. What was going on during that quarter? Well, Cisco says that they were reviewing the data center and collaboration tracks. And currently, if somebody wanted to get their CCNP in data center or collaboration, it would be a two-exam process. They would take, for example, the SEAL core exam for collaboration, and then they would take an additional concentration exam in that track. And we don't know right now if that's going to be the case when Cisco makes these updates. We used to have to take, based on the track, four or five exams to get a CCNP. We just don't know what it's going to look like when these updates are made. But Cisco says that they were reviewing the data center and collaboration tracks in Q1, which again was August through October 2022. When I'm recording this, we're in Q2, where Cisco says that they're reviewing their security and enterprise tracks. So if you have plans to get your CCMP in security or enterprise this year, be aware that Cisco is reviewing those tracks right now and determining how they're going to make updates. What else happens in Q2, which is November through January 2023? Well, the data center and collaboration tracks that were reviewed back in Q1 are now going to be announced. Cisco is going to publish on their certifications website. And again, the link is at the bottom of your screen. They're going to publish the exam blueprints for data center and collaboration. But the exam is not going to be out just yet. In fact, Cisco says that there will be a three to six month period between the time they announce a blueprint change and the time the exam comes out. Now let's check out Q3, which is February through April 2023. 
Here Cisco is reviewing their service provider track and their CCNA track. We have seen some massive changes in the CCNA program over the years. At one point, we would have to take two exams to get our CCNA, and currently it's one exam, but who knows what's going to be in this update. But Cisco's going to be reviewing that in Q3. Also in Q3, Cisco says they're going to release the exam blueprints for exams in the security and enterprise tracks. Currently, most people going after CCMP Enterprise, for example, will take Encore and then perhaps a NARSI for their concentration exam. Well, we should see in Q3 if Cisco keeps those same exams or if they restructure CCMP Enterprise and also CCMP Security. And also in Q3, Cisco says they're going to be releasing the new exams in the data center and collaboration tracks. These are the first new exams we've seen from Cisco in a while and we can expect those during the February through April time period. Next up is Q4 in Cisco's fiscal year, which is May through July 2023. Here they're going to be seeing how they would like to update the DevNet and the CyberOps tracks. And those service provider and CCNA tracks being reviewed back in Q3, the exam blueprints are then published in Q4. Now, this is just a guess, but I know in the past Cisco has made announcements like this during Cisco Live in the U.S., and Cisco Live in the U.S. is scheduled for early June 2023. So just a guess, but my guess is Cisco will announce during Cisco Live the blueprint for the new CCNA exam or exams and also for any exams in the service provider track. And another big change happening in Q4 is Cisco publishes more exams. These exams are in the security and enterprise tracks. And even though by the calendar we're still in 2023, Cisco's fiscal year for 2024 begins in August of 2023. August through October 2023, and they are once again going to be reviewing data center and collaboration exams. Interesting. Didn't they just do that last year? Yeah, one year ago, they were also reviewing updating the data center and collaboration exams. This is the first hint we're getting about their refresh rate. Also in that August through October time frame, Cisco releases the exam blueprints for exams in the DevNet and CyberOps tracks, and the new CCNA exam, or exams, and all of the exams in the service provider track. They're scheduled to release in Q1 of 2024, again August through October 2023. And towards the end of this year, beginning in November and extending into January 2024, that's what Cisco calls their second quarter or Q2 of their 2024 fiscal year. Here they're going to be reviewing changes they want to make to the security and enterprise tracks. And that's just one year after they did it before. Also during this quarter, Cisco says they'll be releasing the new exam blueprints for data center and collaboration exams one year after they just did it. And also in Q2, they publish the DevNet and CyberOps exams. And that completes all of the exams they say they're going to be rolling out over the next year or so. But we're starting to get a hint that Cisco is refreshing things at a pretty rapid rate. In fact, if you take a look at Q3 for 2024, it shows the same thing as the 2023 Q3. And Q4 of 2024, that matches up with Q4 of 2023. And although I find this very surprising, Cisco says that they're going to be refreshing their exams yearly. And at this point, we don't know how sweeping these updates are going to be. Maybe they're removing a few topics. Maybe they're adding a few topics. Maybe it's going to be a new exam name. We just don't know. But the point is, updates are going to be happening much more rapidly. But here we are in January of 2023. And if you have a certification goal for this year... The question you might have is, should I get certified right now and cram to get that exam or exams in, or should I wait for the exams in the new track to be released? Well, if you get certified or recertified right now, that's going to give you three years of certification. So personally, what I would do is I would get certified or recertified right now with the current exams before any changes occur. For example, if you were going to be taking the Encore and Anarsi exams to get your CCNP in the Enterprise track, you want to keep in mind that the new Enterprise exams are released in the quarter of May through July of this year, 2023. So that might involve a little bit of cramming to get those in. The good news is we've got a little bit more breathing room with CCNA. 
which I know a lot of you have on your radars right now. But with CCNA, Cisco says they're not going to release the new CCNA exam until August of 2023 at the earliest, or it could be towards the end of October of 2023. And if you would like to get the CCNA certification and then keep that certification for three years under the current model, then you'll want to know about a live CCNA course I'm doing next month in February. And I wanted to make this live training accessible for any budget and even no budget. Here's what I mean. We've got three different admission levels. First, we have the bronze admission and I'm making that very accessible at only $49. But right now, depending on when you're watching this, we have our early bird pricing where we're letting you attend for free. That's right, an entire live CCNA course covering all the topics you need to crush your CCNA exam taught by a double CCIE for free. That's kind of unheard of. But what exactly are you getting? Well, you're going to be able to attend the 16 hours of live training, just like you would attend a regular brick and mortar classroom. In other words, you have to be there live when uh, the sessions are going on. You're not going to have replays. And the last time I offered something like this, which was over two years ago, we had over 4,000 people register. Obviously, I cannot respond to questions coming in from over 4,000 attendees or even pick out the best, most relevant questions from all the questions flooding in. So for the bronze admission, you're not going to have access to Q&A because it would just be too much. But you absolutely can show up for these 16 hours of live and online training, take a lot of notes, and we even give you a CCNA practice exam. And we give it to you in a couple of formats. First, we have an interactive online exam engine that will give you a score after you complete it. But for study purposes, we give you a PDF download that has questions and answers and detailed explanations as to why the correct answer is the correct answer. And again, during our early bird pricing, you can attend for free. To get signed up, you'll want to go to kwtrain.com slash ccna23. Now, that's the bronze admission. And the next tier up from that is the silver admission. And this is still incredibly affordable. During the early bird pricing, you get $100 off the $197 tuition, and you get the silver admission for just $97. That gives you everything you get at the bronze level, plus you're going to have access to the Q&A interface during each of our sessions. You're also going to be able to download PDFs of the course slides, those might be nice to print out and take notes on. You're also going to get access to a private learner community of this masterclass and previous CCNA masterclasses. So you're going to be able to swap ideas with like-minded professionals. You're also going to get our CCNA labs, which are based on Cisco Packet Tracer. We give you a .pkt file that you can install in your free copy of Cisco Packet Tracer, and we give you a video showing you the goal of the lab, and uh, you pause the video, you do it on your own, you resume the video, and we give you a complete walkthrough solution. So even if you don't want to download and use Cisco Packet Tracer, you could still look over our shoulders as uh, we walk you through a complete solution. And traditionally, this is the most popular, but if you're all in, we also have our gold admission, and uh, this is the lowest price we've ever offered by far for the gold admission level. It retails for $297, but you save $150 during early bird pricing. That means you get gold admission for $147. And that gives you everything I just described for the silver admission level. Plus, you get course replays that you get to keep for life. They never expire. Oh, and I should mention, if you sign up at the silver level, you get course replays, but they're available for one month. But at the gold admission level, they never expire. Also, the biggest benefit of the gold admission level is after each of our four sessions, we're going to hop on a post-session Zoom call. And during that post-session Zoom call where I actually get to see your face if you turn your camera on, I'm going to do some additional training where we dive even deeper into some of the CCNA topics we've discussed. And it's also going to be an opportunity for more Q&A. Again, that's the gold admission for the lowest price ever at $147 during early bird pricing. And I really hope this video has been valuable to you and given you some insight as to what's coming up over the next year or so and how that's going to impact your career. And remember, if you want to get your CCNA this year, now is the time to act. And you can attend our CCNA Masterclass live course next month by visiting kwtrain.com slash ccna23. Again, that's kwtrain.com slash ccna23. Go ahead and get signed up at either the bronze, the silver, or the gold tier. 
And I will look forward to spending time with you then as we cover every topic you need to crush your CCNA exam before the new version comes out. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.